Yeah, making a video kind of off the routine. Uh, so just watched half of a Thunderfoot video, a 19 minute video, where he basically lies about PZ Myers' blog and what he posted on it. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's got, it's got 3,000 thumbs up and 60 thumbs, thumbs down. And I've only been halfway through it, like I said, and it is the most disgustingly ignorant thing I've ever seen on the fucking internet. Um, I mean, racists make better arguments than this. Uh, so, I don't know anything much about this story beyond the fact that it was clearly in bold type, <laughs> you know, where PZ Meyer says, uh, what is the right thing to do in this circumstance? Bold type. Uh, you know, and there is this thing called free speech, Thunderfoot. I don't know whether you're aware of that, but that's what it's called. The freedom of speech. Now, if somebody slanders somebody, I think there should be rock-solid, damn hard laws against that. Slander and libel, all that crap. You lie about somebody else with malicious intent, you should go to jail. Period. Alright? And I'm talking about real lies. Not stories like, you know, I think you're a motherfucker. I mean, I actually think you've probably fucked your mother. Because you look like one. I mean, you look like somebody. Exactly what, like when somebody says motherfucker, your face shows up in my brain. It's just the way it works. You look like somebody who slept with their mother. And you talk like somebody who slept with their mother because you talk like, like some kind of ultra nerd. You have like ultra nerd lisp. Okay, so it's just like, yeah, okay, this guy was a nerd. No doubt about it. An ultra nerd. He had his fucking pants so high. You know, your belt was up at your nipples. There's no doubt about it. Your mama dressed you every day, I bet. I'm betting, okay? I'm not accusing. But I'm pretty damn sure she did. And I'm sure she cleaned your anus for you every damn day. And so, yeah, you got intimate with your mother. And the reason why you hate women so much is your mother gave you lousy blowjobs. <laughs> you know, and she, you know, uh, derided you and complained about your inadequate junk <laughs> or something. Because, yeah, you got some sort of fucking uh, anal wart, uh, you know, from long past. Uh, you know, it's got you with a real bug up your ass um, that, that you just can't get over. You're a petty, lousy, rotten, stinking human being. Uh, this isn't even, this isn't even close to a difficult subject. This asshole, this fucking Thunderfoot cunt weasel bastard is sitting there comparing, like, reporting your car being stolen to reporting and prosecuting a rape. And he's, he, that's how he's thinking about it. Why wouldn't you report your car stolen? There's no big deal. Oh, police. And then on top of that, we already know the record of police men and their women, their attitude towards women. All right, so let's not even pretend that women shouldn't even be intimidated by the mere fact that most of their police departments have probably uh, fucking abused goddamn women all over the damn place. And I have personal stories about that, okay? Factual stories, actual stories. I'm a witness to it, fucker. And that's what's so irritating about that. Yes, stories never prosecuted. That's right. Things, violations, grotesque violations committed by asshole males, okay, never prosecuted. That's right, because the person had no hope of not having their fucking life ruined if they open their goddamn mouth because of these authorities, uh, you know, having all the power. Uh, and it's just disgusting. And like I said, even if you can do it, and you can do it successfully, which no doubt in this circumstance it could have been done, what's your reward for it? People will hate you for it. All right, oh, you ruined the good career of a good officer. So what, he raped a few women. Big deal. You don't know that that's the reality we live in, you stupid dumb asshole, you motherfucker. You don't know that's reality on planet fucking Earth. All right, I'm yelling in the woods about rape. Quite obviously, Thunderfoot has no women in his life. He's never met a real woman. He's never had any kind of intimate conversation with a real woman. He has no clue whatsoever about uh, their vulnerability. None. Absolutely fucking goddamn none. I have not met a woman, to tell you the truth, that hasn't been nearly or completely raped. It's just the truth. Every woman I've known in any intimate manner or very close manner, okay, has got a fucking horrible story or two or three. You're, you're, you're a motherfucker. Yeah, and they didn't go to court because guess what? And this woman made it clear in her fucking 
what she said, exactly why she didn't do it. Because she would have got crucified. Oh, you mean you went to a man's room drunk and passed out? <laughs> Gee, fuck you, you should have got raped. You know that's what she was going to get. You can read right between the lines. She basically just says exactly what happened. Yeah, I got drunk. I went to his fucking room. I passed out. And he fucked me while I was passed out. You can't, you can't see that's what happened? You fucking retard. So anyway, let's say the woman is a liar. Okay? Uh, again, people have a right to speak. They have a right to even lie. But if they do lie, they have a, we have an obligation to prosecute the fuck out of them. All right? So that's what the law should be taking care of. The law should be taking care of a slander. All right? But, but this whole attitude of yours, you know, look how many kids have been molested by priests. And they were, that happened because, yes, kids are going to be totally in, intimidated and embarrassed to point out, oh, yeah, I sucked a priest's dick. Yeah, I want, I want everybody to know I sucked priest's dick. You know, yeah, like they want that in the headlines. Uh, you know, I just love to have that in the headlines. Gary sucked the priest dick. No, I want that on the front page of the goddamn New York Times. I mean, you are you are a clueless fucking asshole. <laughs> I mean, really, it is not a stolen car. It is not a, a breaking and entering. It is not some cliche crime for which you go to the police, tell your story, sign a form, and then go home. Okay? Rape means you have to be raped a second time by the system. They will stick things in your vagina. They will fuck with you. Alright? To collect evidence. And then they will analyze your fucking personal life. And they will f fucking uh, second guess every s decision you made leading up to the event. And you're saying that scrutiny, that fucking ordeal, which many people would say, I'd rather have minor cancer surgery than prosecute a fucking rape. And I would say that's a perfectly reasonable statement to make. It's perfectly reasonable for somebody to say, I'd rather have minor cancer surgery than have to prosecute a rape. How many women have had sterling victories in reporting rape? Everything worked out just great. What percentage, thunder butt? Thunder retard, you are a thunderously dumb motherfucker. Motherfucker. I mean, damn. And all these fucking assholes, it just makes you give up on humanity altogether. God damn, red button it. I mean, Jesus. Liking a stupid, ignorant video like that. I don't have any use for PZ Myers. I don't have any use for this ultra liberal agenda and all this other bullshit. All right, but this is just such crap to sit there and describe this as if he was single-handedly going to, uh, you know, fix something. No, he wasn't trying to fix anything. He was just saying, what's the right thing to do? This is a circumstance. This is what happens in reality. Guys do get away with this, and they get away with it repeatedly because they're a little bit clever enough, okay, to, to make it so the woman is so compromised she won't fucking cry rape. And you can't understand that? You can't see that as possible? That somebody should pay attention? But yeah, let's go back to the, the, the child molester scenario. What if a kid comes out and he accuses the priest? I know, I know somebody personally who's in this, who was in this circumstance. And he had the kid to be the first one. All right, and if the others didn't come out, if the others didn't say, yep, he did it to me too, this kid would have been way out on the fucking limb. Way the fuck out on the fucking limb. And you'd say he shouldn't do it because he can't prove it because he doesn't have enough evidence. He should keep his mouth shut. Is that what you tell him? He doesn't have a free speech right to say, well, someday it's eking at me enough. I'm going to say it, motherfucker. I'm going to goddamn say it. And I'm going to force the motherfucker to sue me because I'm going to goddamn say it. Uh, you know, I mean, come on. Your insensitivity is so fucking grotesque. Ugh. I mean, the whole clan of them. I mean, the only thing that gives me any kind of hope is that none of these asshole atheists, none of these scumbags of the atheist community are listening to this video. These scumbags, these bottom-feeding, retarded, stupid, motherfucking, bigoted asswipes of the atheist community. I mean, Thunderfoot talks about 
defending the integrity of the atheist community. He is the fucking blight of the atheist community, the king of the blight. His subscribers are probably lower bottom feeders than the motherfucking amazing atheist video fucking morons. At least they're not warmongers, uh, bigots, and now woman haters. So yeah, you, you're winning on three fucking subjects, Thunderfoot. You're a goddamn fucking bigot. You're a fucking woman hater. Uh, you're a phantasmagorical pussy shit. Uh, what was the other one? The other subject. Well, it doesn't matter. You're you're just disgusting, you creep. <laughs> yeah, you're a creep. Creepy motherfucker. <sighs> Damn. <sighs> God, really, it's just disgusting. Atheists are disgusting. <sighs> yeah, that's what they are. Disgusting. You you there was nothing wrong with going on here, right? Nothing wrong with having a conversation when a woman says, okay, I'm gonna talk about what happened to me. And you can sit there and, and, and argue whether the woman has a right or whether she has enough evidence, uh, um, but I just can't see how you can possibly argue that she shouldn't have a voice. And that she shouldn't have as loud a voice as anybody else. Somebody talking about cheese crackers. I mean, I'm sure PZ Myers has pointed to people talking about cheese crackers somewhere. Uh, yeah, and conversations about fucking being raped are probably just as important as cheese crackers, shithead. I mean, you know, you people, you, you pretend, you know, to be defenders of free speech, and you're sitting there trying to shut women up. Man, you are ballless, gutless, and stupid as a goddamn fucking brick. That's probably enough, right? Do I have to really go through it again? Let's just let's just recap, all right? Rape be bad. Rape be a complex social crime. Rape is very difficult for women to prosecute without having to prosecute to essentially have themselves raped again. Uh, very difficult. It's a terrible position to be in. It's a terrible circumstance to have to correct for, all right? It's going to be their word against somebody else's word. Uh, they're going to have to admit that they were a fool and a sucker and a dumb slut. Uh, you know, they're going to be put under the magnifying glass of scrutiny. Uh, and you say that's the same thing as reporting your car being stolen. That's your argument. Why don't you just go run right to the fucking woman-loving cops? Cops are so sensitive to women's issues. I mean, they're, you know, they, they haven't been accused of punching their fucking wives' faces in or blowing their heads off or uh, any other crime against women, right? Police officers have a sterling record. <laughs> yeah, it's right up there with the criminals. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which is worse, right? Statistically, maybe they ought to do that analysis and we'll see how many rapists are in jail versus wearing a fucking cop suit. <sighs> I say rapist in the broadest sense of the word. Okay, abusers of power, uh, sexually abusing power, building pyramids and such, you know. Yeah, cops like to do that too. I mean, really, fuck you and your insensitivity and your unfairness, your lack of intellectual integrity. It was It's gross lack of intellectual integrity, not to concede this is a complex issue, and it isn't black and white. Uh, you know, there are lots of reasons why women don't report rape. And for you to not acknowledge those reasons, concede their significance, just makes you one hell of a woman hater. That's all you are. You have to hate women not to appreciate their, their awkward and difficult circumstance. You're a woman hater, clearly. You're a fucking bigot, and you're a fucking warmonger. You're a disgusting, grotesque motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I don't know why we import these assholes. We got enough assholes in America already. Shouldn't be importing any. Fucking cunt. Oh. Wrong word. Fucking slimy, skanky, herpes-laden fucking dick. 
little tiny fucking skanky pus covered dick that fucks his mother. <laughs>